Hi guys, in this short video I'd like to show how do I use the geometry or boolean operations in Affinity Designer. Now this is good for the iPad or the desktop, but obviously I'm doing it on the iPad. Now to start with I've just opened a new document in Designer and use the default. You don't have to worry about anything else, just select new document and click OK for the default brings up a nice little blank page and pinch in the canvas so you can see it all. That way you're not worried about the thing reaching the boundaries. You can see everything you're doing from there. Now, let's put two objects on the canvas. Simple boxes will do. Just put two shapes there. Now, note the order in the layer panel, the blue one on the top and the pink one on the bottom. And you can see in the display there that the blue square actually sits just over the top of the pink one. Now the order in the layer panel is important in the use of geometry. Let me show you. It does make a difference what order they're in. With the layers in the order shown, select both layers either by dragging over both objects or simply selecting both layers. Then select Edit, that's the three dots at the top, and then select Geometry, and select Add. And there you have it. You can see the two objects have been added into one and made the colour of the bottommost layer of those selected. And you can see the inset I've got there, blue on the top, pink on the bottom, but when you add them, they both become pink. Now that's important to remember because it will affect what you do and if you get strange results just check the order in the layers panel. Now let's try subtract. Note blue on top and pink below. Tap subtract and your new shape appears. It was blue on top and pink below now it's all pink with a chunk cut out of it where the lower panel was sitting. So, let's look at the other three. I won't go through them one by one. You can do that yourself. It's really easy. Put those two squares on your screen, select them both, and try intersect, divide, and XOR for yourself. And this screen shows the next three operations before we look at how to use geometry in constructive ways. Because you can look at that and think to yourself, hmm, what can I do with that? You'll also notice that I've got the whole squares faintly in the background there of intersect, divide and XOR. Difficult to see, but they are there. And the divide one, you end up with those three shapes, but they're not separated like I've got them there. What you have, if you look then in the layers panel, you have actually got three shapes. And I've just separated them so they're easy to see, and very clear. Now, let's try and cut a line just how we want it. We need to cut this line neatly by using an exact shape. I don't know how many times I've heard people say, how do I cut a line? Well, you can use the node tools and the edit and select and delete. Or you can just draw a shape over it and use the geometry like this. Draw a box over the line. Now, I've got a nice pink box with a big black border there because I'm going to use that later. And you can see it's sitting across the line. You can't see the line through it. Select all the shapes. I've draw, pulled the box out over all the shapes. And then select geometry, subtract, and there's your line. Cut exactly to the shape width. So the width of that little box, there's your line cut exactly there. Now that can be very useful. You'll notice that the box is gone and you've just left with the line with two exact lengths. So you could if you really want to measure something out, you can draw a box to the exact size you want. Say, 100 pixels. Put that box on the line and then you've got an exact 100 pixel gap in that line. No guesswork. Now this is interesting, more adventurous. Place the shape 
on the bottom layer. That's the shape you just drew. I've got three lines there. And of course, when you first draw it, it'll be on the top. But draw your box, then move it down to the bottom layer. Select all the layers. You can see I've dragged out a box around it. Select all shapes, tap subtract, and remember the controlling layer is the bottom layer. Now it's cut out the segments out of the three lines and they're all sitting inside the box. How cool is that? Let's put a cog in a circle and subtract it. Now there's a circle and there's a cog. The lower circle is the controlling circle, the upper circle, which is the cog, is the interesting bit. Note the circle is the bottom of the two layers. When you tap subtract, you're left with a cog in a circle. I encourage you to experiment. It's fun. You can spend a lot of time working out what those little subtract, add, divide and XOR options do. So have fun with it. Don't be afraid to experiment. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the thumbs up to like. That's a good way for me to count how many people have been viewing. So thanks very much.